All right, so what we're doing today is getting soaked, but the other thing we're doing is following a strike of a deposit that we found way up on the top of the mountain, way up there. We're about a kilometer and a half away and we mapped out where we think uh, everything is heading and right now we're below a road and we found this big boulder here and you have similar mineralization as up above. Everything's wet so it's hard to see but you have sphalerite right there, all in there. You have a little bit of calcopyrite and a little bit of pyrite. Up on the main road, we'll take a look at that after, but there's a 100 meter wide area where the bedrock is just gossiness. All the, the soils in the ditch are gossiness, and uh, you can find samples with mostly pyrite and a bit of calcopyrite, but um, I think we're just not deep enough there to the actual vein structure. But uh, there's definitely some nice mineralization on this boulder and there's another one over there we'll check out too. Another piece I just hammered off of there, take a look at this. That's some beautiful mineralization. Another area, you can see all the oxidization and gossiness rock, you got limonite, disseminated pyrite and calcopyrite, and there's just loads of that kind of mineral all throughout this stuff. There's a little bit of galena and stuff. And again, this is typical with what you see at the deposit that we have exposed. few samples that we found, you can see the vein there, pyrite, calcopyrite, and you have a bit of sphalerite and galena. And uh, it definitely looks like there's going to be some cadmium in there. Here's another one right here. You can see all that. That's similar to what you see up above, and that's high grade zinc, lead some cadmium, silver gold. We've pulled quite a few samples out of this area. This is an interesting one right here. There's no mineralization other than a little bit of pyrite. But all this white stuff here is barite. Barite is often associated with VMS deposits and barite runs at about a couple hundred bucks per ton. So it's actually a commodity in itself. Okay, so now we're above the road. You can see this area here, we dug that out. That was dug out previously. All this stuff here, this is bedrock. You got your pyrotization, pyrotite, and minor calcopyrite. This is all bedrock right in here. More bedrock there. So we've dug out lots of holes here over the last month. See that's all bedrock right there, right below the road. And again, you got your pyrotization down about 25 meters. You have more. And again, there's more mineralization on there. And this continues down probably for another 30, 40 meters. So up on the banks here, it's not really exposed, you got some overburden, but down below over there is where we found all those float boulders over there, and those were thrown over when they built this road and dug this in. So there's definitely something here. It's just uh, finding the actual source. We know 
that this most likely continues up about a kilometer and a half because it's the exact same mineralization, the exact same host rock, and it is all on strike of this. So, hope you guys enjoyed the short little video. We got to get out of the rain now. It is wet and cold, so take care. Thanks for watching.